Hey, and so we come to the last question in this paper. Question 13, trigonometry. The Great Pyramid at Giza has a square base, A, B, C, and D, with sides 232.6 meters long. Okay, so we know a square, all sides are equal, so let's write this in here as 232.6 meters. The distance from each corner of the base to the apex E is 221 meters. Okay, so that's the line BE, AE, CE, and DE. All of them are, let's write this down here, 221,2 meters. Okay, let's see what questions there for us. Calculate the size of the angle at the apex of a face of the pyramid. For example, angle CEB. That's the type of angle they want us to calculate. Okay, so like CEB. So this angle here is what we want. Now how will we do that? We don't know this angle, this angle, or that angle. Okay, that makes it a bit complicated, but we know all the sides because this side is also 221 comma 2 meters. So what can we use when we know the length of all the sides but not any angles? Well, we can use the cosine rule. Or alternatively, we could construct a vertical line down and use it as two right angle triangles. But let's just use the cosine rule. That's more straightforward. At least it's only a only a one operation. Yes, okay, so we're gonna say that the length or the uh, the cosine rule states as follows. If we have a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of angle a. Okay, now we want the angle. So let's just rearrange this equation. So that will give us a squared minus b squared minus c squared divided by negative 2bc equals cosine of a. Good, so we've got that. Now it's important to remember that cosine of A and the angle A and the side A here, they are opposites. So the angle we're looking for is E. So this is what's going to be the opposite. Instead of C, E, B here, we'll just imagine what we have in this equation as A is E. Okay? So we have to calculate this, we're going to substitute our values in would be 232 well, 232.6 squared minus 221,2 squared minus 221,2 squared divided by negative 2 times 221,2 times 221,2 that's equal to the cosine of angle A. Remember, it's not equal to angle A yet. That's just the cosine of angle A. Okay, so now if we calculate that on a calculator, we get approximately 0, 0,447, which is equal to, like we said, cosine of A. So now what we need to do is find out what angle A is. So we'll just use the arc cosine of 0, 0,47447 and our calculator will tell us that that is equal to 63.44 degrees approximately and there you go like I said you could have also constructed two right angle triangles and used used uh, trigonometric ratios to find it in that way just using one or two extra steps okay now 13.2 calculate the angle each face makes with the base, e.g. angle EFG where EF is perpendicular to AB. Okay, so for instance EFG, so we're looking for this angle, as long as EF is perpendicular to the to the base FG. Okay, yes, well perpendicular to AB, I mean. Okay, so what do we need to do here? To find this angle, well what do we know about any of the sides here? We know that this side, okay, G is the center. So we know that this length here is half of 232.6. So that'll be a, is that 
meters. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got one side. What else do we need here? Okay, we'll use we'll just use straightforward Pythagoras. So we'll say that let me write this down again. We'll say by Pythagoras that E F squared is equal to E B squared minus B F squared. Okay. So that'll give us EF squared, that's what we're looking for now. So that'll be EF squared is equal to EB squared. So we'll work in, we're going to work in this triangle for now because we know that this oof, is 90 degrees. Okay, so we can use the EBF triangle. And we know this is 221.2 degrees. So EB is 221.2 meters squared minus BF would be half of 232.6 so that would be 116.3 meters squared okay so EF is equal to 188.16 meters so that's the starting point okay we know that EF here is now 188,16 meters. But now the question was calculate the angle of each face with the base. So for instance angle EFG. EF EFG. Okay, so what does that help us? Well now we've got two sides. Now we can use Pythagoras again to calculate the third side, but that shouldn't be necessary. We know that we can say the cosine of this angle is equal to the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. Okay, so we'll say that the cosine of angle F is equal to the adjacent, which is 116.3 meters, divided by the hypotenuse, 188.16 meters. So that will give us a cosine of the angle F, which would be equal to 0 0.618 and that will mean that the arc, coten, arc cosine of 0, 0.618 would be equal to 51.82 degrees. There you go. So in this case we had to use an alternate triangle instead of the one we're actually working with first to get some more information. But remember there's always more information if you look.